Hello everyone, the Gaming Guru 51 is finally back after his long unnecessary vacation and I am back to record some more Donkey Kong Country 2 Diddy's Conquest. Alright, in the last episode I've gone through some levels in the crazy Kremlin and in this episode we're definitely going to finish it up this time and get to the next world and I'm telling you I had to pre -rec I had to record this so many times. This is like my upteenth recording because my frames kept dropping every single time and I'm telling you it's not fun having dropping frames like crazy it sucks I've been here for like an hour trying to f fix this up for you guys and I can't because the frames keep dropping and it's probably gonna do that now I hope not but anyways if it does whatever if it doesn't well whatever but anyways alright so getting to this level here and explaining myself why have I been gone for so long I've been busy you know I've been sick first of all second of all my computer broke and it's Oh my god. I'll explain all that right now. Well, with me being sick, I always die there. Um, with me being sick, um, my, com yeah, my computer. Um, I have a sore throat, you know, common cold, god. Common cold. Not feeling good, you know. I can't record if I'm up. Seriously? Ugh, I'm coming back to recording and I'm sucking, and now it takes me that long to fall off the freaking thing and. Okay. Anyways, I was really sick, you know, common cold, all the good stuff, it sucks, and my computer broke on me, I can explain that too. Well, I was watching YouTube videos on my computer, and I was try- God, I'm looking at the screen, and I'm looking at the freaking computer at the same time to make sure no frames drop, and I'm just sitting here, falling, and it's, it's not fun. Anyways, uh <laughs> So my computer breaks because I'm watching YouTube, right? And my computer's about to die, so I'm like, oh, dude, I gotta plug my computer to the charger. And I go in to do that, and all of a sudden my computer just utterly, like, you know, snaps. Like, I'm not even kidding, my computer just cracked in half. Well, not cracked in half, but the freaking port to where the computer charges, you know, that little port where the charger goes, yeah, that part broke, so I had to get that fixed. I don't know how or why it broke, it's just misconvenience, and I apologize for it, folks. I didn't mean for it to happen, and I don't intend for it to be happening anytime in the near future. So yes, that's why things have been haywire, and that's why, you know, I'm just here to do this as fast as I can, because my computer literally is taking, like, not doing so well since I've gotten it back, and hopefully... I can keep it doing what I want it to do, and if not, whatever. Oh, Frickin' every time I've done the same mistake. Ugh, fools. Anyways, I apologize for the under angeriness, but going down here, this is King Zing Sting is the name of the boss. So what we want to do is you want to run away from him as frickin' fast as you can, like gingerbread men. It's not really that hard to avoid either. You're just running for your life with this rhino buddy of yours, and you know everything just everything's gonna be okay. Just don't die, and you'll be happy. You go up here, get your freaking thing, and get my G. I don't think I needed it, but whatever. I'm not complaining. Do do do. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the boss, King Zing Sting, and I'm. God. Alright, so we get to fly on the bird here, and we get our Kong. What you want to do for this boss, you want to hit the bo frickin' bottom of the frickin' the stinger, actually. You want to hit the stinger with your friend here. It's really not a hard task. I remember, um, being little, and this was always a problem. Because I always get up there, and I always get stuck, and I never predict when he's moving, and it's just hay it just goes haywire. But I've learned from my mistake for the past years of playing this game, and he just is th I have to do this three times to him, and then he'll... You know, I'm not gonna spoil, but he does something when you keep hitting him. God, like this. And then he'll just go back up, and I can hit him, please, it'd be kind of appreciated. And now he does this. You wanna hit him. First you wanna blow up all his little babies, if you call them that, and can't... Can I not kill this one? Thank you. Hit that one. He's gonna do some more stupid stuff here, and he's gonna, yes. One more, one more, one more, one more. Get out of here. And there's your boss fight. There was 
King Zing Zing in a nutshell. And we turn back to normal right now, and we get a coin, and I can do my P. Diddy dance again. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. And that brings us to the next world, folks. This is the Gloomy Gulch. Alright, we're gonna start off with the Ghostly Grove, and this is why I hate this world, because there's a lot I just don't like the atmosphere. I I don't know. I, I love the world before it, you know, the amusement park, the, you know, that was cool, I like that, but I just honestly I don't like this one. Um I couldn't tell you why, but I just don't like this world. Like, it, it's cool. I mean, I don't hate it. I just don't like it. Um, and eh, that's probably just my personal opinion. But that's why I'm gonna try to go through this world as fast as I can go. I mean, it took three episodes to get through the Crazy Kremlin. That wasn't so bad. I like the world, but this is just a different book in the box here. Book in the box here. What? Dude, you gotta come up with a better analogy than that. Better book in the box. Ugh. Anyways, I'm just here to beat this world as fast as I can possibly. Wow, I'm holding nothing. Wow, I'm holding nothing. I'm throwing nothing. That was pretty cool. Um, do I want that? I think I do. Oh, forget. Um, I need Dixie. Oh, come on. Alright. Oh, come on! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come back. Yes. Then that's how you get that secret up there, folks. This is find the token. So I know I'm talking like crazy in this episode, but I'm kind of missed my computer for so long. I just really wanted to record again. I've been complaining all the time. My, my computer's been gone. Oh, I want to record something. I wish I had my computer. I actually um, I actually got a new capture card. Act um. Few days after my computer broke, I was like, um, I think I kind of want a new capture card. So I went to Best Buy and I bought this cool $80 capture card. You know, I love it; it's great quality. But it, ugh, my computer just doesn't like it for some reason, like dropping frames like crazy. I don't, I don't appreciate this. So yeah, here I am recording with this awesome new Dazzle, and I beat the level. Pro. Do 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 do, and we see Dixie Kong's amazing guitar solo again. And we get to the next level, which is the Haunted Hall. Now, I actually like this level in the world that I don't like, because this level is another cart level, like so. I like this world, this level, I mean, because look at it, it's cool. It, I like the library, the Haunted Library, and you, I like these ghost guys. What you do with these guys, you don't really do anything. You're just trying to collect all the freaking plus signs that add to your time. Now, if you run out of time, obviously, you're going to lose a con or your life. But if you go to the minus sign, and I'm gonna go to a secret here, I don't know, I'm gonna try this, but yeah, so I'm gonna beat the level. What, was I, what am I trying to say here? So, um, so if you get the minus sign, you lose time, and that's not what you want. You want to, you know, have as much time as you can, so you don't get screw yourself over. And I just finished. There's my freaking coin. Moving on to a bigger and better life. Not really. But now we're done with that. Now we can continue on with another ghost guy, which is this green guy over here. This guy is not too major. He just, you know, he's like this one adds one second to your time. Well, that one adds like four. But yeah, don't get the minus signs. You get it. Yes, I love the level, but I just got myself killed. So let's try that again. That was unfortunate. So all right, let's try that again. Since I already got the freaking secret, I don't have to go back for it, so that saves time, I guess. It would have saved time if I'd beaten this without one life, without losing a life, which I did last couple tries I've done on this recording. But yeah. Oh, so I have to mention, I went to a field trip. No, 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 no. I went to a field trip on. Um, what was it? Flat Tuesday. And it was this carnival called the Big E. It's located in. Springfield, Massachusetts, and I swear I saw the coolest stuff there. I, I, you know, the one thing I have to mention that I saw, and I'm new video game. Okay, we don't need to see that three more times. I'm gonna cut away to where we just were. All right, I'll see you guys in just a moment. Okay, we're back to this guy again. Let's not make the same mistake again. I'm just gonna totally skip the coin entirely and just not run into it this time. Because every time I try that, I do that. 
Okay, I'll be back again. And I'm back again with this green guy again. Uh, okay. I don't know how I'm gonna avoid that coin this time. I don't know how. You know, let's just not jump. Let's just yeah, let's do that. All right. Yeah, let's be smart about this. Jeez, that was annoying. All right, so I'll go into that part, getting a checkpoint, so I don't have to start from the beginning every time I die. Yeah, I get back from the freaking um, I get back to recording and I'm already failing. You know, what's better? What's good about that? But anyways, so I went to this this uh, field trip place, right? And I see this awesome display of, oh god, I see this awesome display of games, like, it, it's an antique game store, and I was like, holy crap, dude, I'm like, I'm like, holy crap, dude, I was like, so excited to see this, all this stuff, cause they, dude, I'm telling you, they sold the Nintendo 6, I'm so, they sold the Nintendo 64s that still worked, they sold Super Nintendos that still worked, they sold Sega Genesis, they even sold handheld Super Nintendos, but the one thing I was most amazed by, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, Oh god, come on, come on, I'm on a type, I'm on a type, BUDGET! TYPE BUDGET! <laughs> okay, we can watch that again. <laughs> yeah, you guys will be happy with this video with all the failing. But anyways, so, the one thing I was most amazed by all this, EARTHBOUND. Yes. The Super Nintendo EARTHBOUND. Yes. I could have owned EARTHBOUND. The whole collection, the book, and the guide itself that it came with when the game was released. I could have owned it for $200. Now you're probably like, oh my god, you can't be serious. Well, tell you the truth, I'm not even joking right here. I'm I'm not BSing you guys. I saw Earthbound. I could have been there for it. Well, I could have been there, yeah. Um, so, the, if I were to come there, that place, the day be the day after I was there, I could have bought her. I was like, dude, you had Earthbound? And I was freaking out. I was like, dude. It's like, they're like, oh, dude, you'd be in a fist fight for it. I'll be like, hell yeah, I would fight for that game. But, anyways, now we're done with the level finally. It took us long enough. And I'm telling you, the next level is not going to make anything easier. I'm going to get this extra life here because I don't want to get myself killed again. All right. That level's over. Now we're going to move up to the Gusty Glade. Now this level I don't like at all because as the name implies, there's wind. And strong ones at that. But I'm going to try to go through this level as quick and easy as I can make it without getting killed by these stupid things. Because I always seem to die by those every time I try this. So, and I did. So, you know. I did a, I did a lot of a better job with that one level we just did in my last recording, I'm telling you, it didn't take me that long to realize, oh god. I'm telling you, this level screws you over, dude. I'm like, not failing, but it's just ridiculous. And there's something down there, but I'm not gonna try. I'm not an idiot. I see the stupid, I see the freaking um, mini game. Find the token, I'm guessing I'm the freaking. no I'm not. Okay. This isn't too bad, and that wasn't too bad. Dude. There, I made the- I said the note. Alright, I don't see where you get the, um, freaking snake here. But you wanna go through this, and- Oh, Jesus. Freaking. Please tell me there's a Kong on the way! Please. Please, 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 please. Alright, there is! Oh, wow. You can die, and I'm gonna run away from you and kill this and get the end. I don't think I cared. Um, oh, Jesus Christ. Um, this is scary, folks. Oh, I needed the, there was a cannonball? Where? It was probably in that one that I missed. Now, this is really obnoxious. The wind's blowing all the sorts of directions. You don't know where the wind's gonna go. And you can get screwed over any way you think of it. Like, I'm telling you, this level screws you over. And, oh god, crap, point. Yes! Like a friend coin? Oh my goodness! Go! Mine! Uh, there it is! Um, I'll get the coin out here. Oh, yeah, I got the coin! Alright! Whew! Jesus! And die.
Well, here's our save point, so I think this is where I'm gonna end it off, alright? I apologize for, like, really weird stuff, I just have to repeat this episode. But, in the next episode of Donkey Kong Country Today's Conquest, we are going to finish up and do some more levels of the Gus... Ghost... Whatever this level's called, I'll probably post it up. I don't care. The Ghostly Gulch, I think? Whatever. See you guys then.